Hello, I'm HexDSL, and you can probably tell from my YouTube channel that I play a lot of indie games, like a, a lot, like a boatload, a big boatload of indie games. And one of the things I've noticed about indie games is often you can have a great game and a terrible tutorial. See, one of the best tutorials I've ever played, and it's not really an indie game, obviously, is Stellaris. Because Stellaris, you load up for the first time, you start the game, and then you can play the game. You've got 100% control of the game. You can do everything in that moment that you can do when you've played for 100 hours. But there's this little thing in the corner, and he's all fully voiced, which is really nice touch. And he says, like, hey, do you want some tutorial tips? You can go, yeah, yeah, I want tutorial tips. And he just tells you stuff while you're playing. Hey, Madam President, I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence. My job is to offer advice and assistance as we seek our destiny among the stars. He doesn't stop clicking anything. He doesn't prevent you zooming in, zooming out, or opening a menu. He just, you know, tells you stuff while you're playing. And that's really good. It's really useful. Then after a while, it's like, do you still want some tips or are you good now? You can go, oh, I still want some tips, thanks. And he'll just hang out and just give you the occasional reminder on things. That is, in my mind, one of the best tutorials that I've ever come across in a game. Now, indie devs, obviously, when they're making these games, they don't have infinite resources, certainly not the resources that they had when making Stellaris. So they try and do something where they'll just have a slideshow or they'll have a tutorial where it's like, do this exact thing, and you can't click anything else other than the thing they want you to click. Now, being guided that much or having a slideshow doesn't actually let me decide if I like the game or not. It doesn't give me a good impression of the game. It makes me annoyed, especially the worst tutorials, the ones where it goes, here's a slide, It's look at this, you can do this. And then you go, okay, you hit next, expecting to do the thing they was just talking about. And then they go on to the next topic. And you're like, I didn't get to try anything yet. I'm so mad. And then you have to keep going. You're like, I don't know how it's long it's going to end. And then you get to this point after two or three slides where you're going, I've got loads of information, but I don't understand the context of any of it. So then you just start skipping it all because it's not interesting to you because you don't have any frame of reference. And then when you get into the game, you don't know what you're doing. And people say, you should have read the tutorial. It's all explained. Well, yeah, it probably is. But if that's boring, I don't want to do it. I want to play the game that's fun. And... It's so frustrating to me because so many good games are hidden under a mountain of terrible, terrible tutorial text. But once you dig through and you get to it, it's fantastic. Indie games at the moment are more interesting and more valuable to gamers than anything from AAA studios. But at least the AAA guys know how to make a tutorial. And I have no doubt it's about budget and it's about, it's about how much time and resources and man hours you've got. But uh, I think indie devs, if you can't make a good tutorial, make a short tutorial. If you can't put the resources into having in-game tutorials, just literally have signposts in your game. Like have something physical inside the game that's like, hey, this is this is how you do it. Like I played Mana Spark recently, and in the game, they just have a literal rock shaped like a space bar. They don't even tell you what space bar does. They're just like, space bars are control. And you can hit spacebar and you go, oh, I see what that does because I saw a spacebar and I hit spacebar. And you go around the corner, there's a massive mouse with the left button depressed and you go, I'll press the left button. Oh, that's what that does. And without telling me anything, without putting any resources into the tutorial other than drawing a mouse and drawing a spacebar, they imparted all the information I needed without even telling me. It wasn't, now, if you want to fire your arrow, you need to press the left mouse button while aiming. It's like, left button does shit. And you go, oh, sh yeah, it does. Cool, now I know that, and that's great. And that, to me, is a great example of a tutorial. That's that's what I want. Now, I don't need to have a point with these ramble videos. I never really have a point with anything I do, as anyone who's in my YouTube channel well knows. But it's just food for thought. And I'm hoping some indie devs will watch this video and go, oh, he's right. We can, we can just keep it really simple and short and we can get all the information in their heads because our game is good and it stands on its own and we don't need to explain to them how to do the most basic of things because these people are gamers and gamers know how to play games. I've been HexDSL. Thank you for listening to my ramble. I enjoyed making it today.